Let's talk about those threads we talked, we were just mentioning. We couple tension with a couple things. If we talk about uh, a real common mesh, which isn't necessarily one of my favorites, a 110 TPI. Most folks know what TPI means. TPI is threads per inch. So 110 means that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to 110 in a one inch. And it goes both directions. And the thread is roughly the same size. So there's 110 of these going in one inch. Now, anybody know what the second number is? Typically they don't. So in this case, it might be 125. That's second number. A lot of times people don't pay attention, but there's a second number when you order mesh or when you give mesh and you look at the spec sheets on it. The second number is a micron, 125 microns, and that is this distance. It's 125 microns thick, that thread diameter. So one of my favorite meshes, and we, we went over this on the hands-on part of this, uh, the 8370, we use it for specialty inks. Anything that's a real thick uh, ink, like a high density, or even our white printers sometimes. Um, we show that shatter base on it. Um, I like this 8370. And it goes through a lot of different meshes, but this is one of my favorites. And it's vir virtually, it's about 20% of less threads in the area. Um, but just for argument's sake, let's say it's close enough. Less threads would mean there'd be even more, uh, less threads in this given space. But let's say roughly our Threads are about half the size in that same area. What that does is opens up these areas significantly. It's called the open area. Now, tension, as we grow our tension or increase our tension, polyester stretches and it opens our holes. So that coupled with a smaller thread gives us a lot bigger hole. Why is the hole important? Essentially plastisols, water bases, they're bunches of solids that are suspended in a fluid, resin or water, or whatever it might be. So this is a chunk of pigments and stuff that's suspended, plasticizers, whatever, suspended in either that resin or that water. So that chunk of stuff has to pass through this hole which gets pretty tough. If you think of it in terms of a piece of glitter that's too big to go through the hole, that's why you don't run glitter on a 156. This is our chunk of stuff that's getting caught. That same size, oops, same size chunk of stuff will pass through that hole. So ultimately, it makes my arms and wrists and elbows feel a lot better running my white ink. But that coupled with tension will change your life. Open up those areas. Now we talk about this being kind of a specialty mesh, but let's go through quickly. They make mesh going down like 13 and all the way up to let's say 480. We don't really use that and we rarely use that. Let's talk more practicality. Let's go 40, 6, actually we won't do it that way. 40, 60, 83, 70, 110, 156, 200, 305, 355. Now there's a bunch of meshes that fall in between all of these. And I'm not an advocate. A lot of the uh, startup guys will go ahead and sell you, you know, 24 110s. And that will be good for everything. After we talk about this, you'll see why I'm not a big fan of 110. In fact, it's probably the one mesh we have very little of here. But here's basically what these break down to. The 13, the real, real coarse mesh, like a screen door, that would be for like caviar beads and giant flake uh, uh, glitter, uh, PVC chunks. Uh, it's not real popular right now, but people do it. We'll call that beads. The 40 is our favorite for glitter. The 60 works fine for glitter as well, but if I'm running a 40, I don't usually need a 60. I'll, some people run 60 rather than 40, but I wouldn't run both. And the reason I've run the 40 over the 60 again goes back to that wide open area, uh, wide open 
open area it gives me a bigger hole so I can use bigger chunks of flake so I, if I desire. 8370 is my specialty mesh. We call that for HD, some white printers, um, you know, really about any of our real thixotropic types, types of ink, thick inks. Uh, the 110 might be for a puff or a metallic. But hey, if I use the 8370, I have a whole lot more open area. And when I'm using puff and metallic, I got bigger chunks, right? So I really almost like these to come up here. Then I put, okay, maybe some of my white printers. Well, yeah, but I like them up here. And if I've got too much detail, I'd probably run it on a 156 anyway. So the 110 kind of finds itself missing a spot here because once I get into more detail and I want to run more vector types of work, whether it's on colored garments or white garments, I would go to at least a 156 for that type of work. Once I open up my my mesh and I'm running uh, a, a, wide, a, a higher tension level, we almost take the 110 out of the, out of the mix. So ultimately it finds itself being too coarse to run detail, but it's got too big a thread and not enough open area to run these thick inks or these specialty inks. So it's kind of funny how it's been a kind of a choice uh, for everybody over the years is kind of one of the most popular meshes and it really is finding its way on the, on the outside looking in. 200 would be my top plates of like a vector if I'm going to run a white printer down and then I run my colors on top of it. Um, I actually forgot one in here. 230 would be where I'd start like a spot process. 305 might be spot process and process type of work. And 355 would be auto process. Now we can throw in here our full water base that we talk about. Because we want that real fine mesh in order to run our, to get a real thin ink deposit anyway. So the finer meshes work real well for that. Down here we put in our standard water base discharge. Because if we go higher, unless we're using a high solids water base, which starts to work real well in these ranges and even a little bit here, our st standard water bases or traditional water bases, non-high solids, are going to really max out in this area and try to dry the screen on you past that. And that kind of includes most everything. Um, and again, the real fine mesh it really isn't applicable to us. We might use a... Uh, a 380 if, if we've got a real fine detail on a four color process type of image.